Istanbul, Turkey, and today uh, with Hakan Baş and Onur Kınay, uh, they are the founders of Didiana.com. Uh, uh, Turkey's e-commerce uh, market uh, has grown 57% uh, in 2011, and uh, just last two quarters in of this year, uh, it has 40% uh, of growth. So naturally, this uh, growth attracts several investors, including Intel Capital, Tiger Global, and uh, last year Amazon. And the latest news came from Runet, which is an uh, investor company from Russia, and uh, they announced 3.3 uh, billion US dollars to Didiana.com after their investments in uh, India, uh, Vietnam, and uh, naturally in Russia. So here I'm with you, with the talking to in details. Welcome. And uh, first of all, I can, uh, I mean, you have investments in uh, in big games yes. and also Cranberry, right? Mm -hmm. So what made you to start a business in vertical in jewelry? Uh, and why, also why jewelry? <laughs> As you told, so uh, I had started uh, two other companies prior, uh, prior to uh, Lidiana. Mm -hmm. And uh, I came back from the States in 2010 and we started Peak Games with my co-founders there and it went pretty well. Then we started this digital marketing agency called Chrome as you said, and it was going pretty well as well. <laughs> but then uh, Onur and I, we are friends for more than 15 years and we always wanted to do something together. And Did you have any other trials? Actually we had some projects in the past. Uh -huh. Back in the day. But it, it never happened, <laughs> but now, like, because I got some exposure to entrepreneurship and the internet market, okay. and uh, since Onur was uh, ready to go ahead uh, after his uh, investment banking experience, uh, we decided to get into e-commerce, mm -hmm. and jewelry was the only untapped market and which had the uh, most potential in it. So we decided to get in uh, this. Uh, market and yeah, it wasn't an emotional decision. We went over a couple of okay. categories, industries, and this was actually the only untapped one, as Harkan said. So we went right in. So your heart is not into jewelry, and <laughs> 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 so we see the potential, right? Yes. Okay. So uh, besides it's uh, being the first uh, vertical in jewelry in Turkey, uh, Lidiana has uh, this uh, uh, celebrity endorsed model, including its investors. This is. Uh, this how it was planned in the beginning? Well, we monitored the business models in the US, the successful ones, and well, celebrity push-up marketing is very common. It's also a common thing in Turkey as well. Mm -hmm. But we saw that in our network, this is one of our strengths, because both uh, Hakan and me and our investors know a lot of people from that area. So we wanted to push our marketing, our brand image, with our close friends. We don't call them celebrities because they are friends. That's not it, but still, I mean, that it was very efficient. Mm -hmm. and it was one of the reasons we, came, we went that fast in receiving uh, investment in such a short period of time. Mm -hmm. Is this your only competitive advantage in the, in the market, you think? Um, not really. We, I mean, the best thing we did was creating our investors, investor group. So we have the expertise of e-commerce experts in Turkey, mm -hmm. as well as um, major figures from the conglomerates industries such as Safet Ulusoy and Ismet Öztan. So we were very aggressive and fast in acquiring brands, getting the right target groups, for our um, customer base. That's why um, we grew very, very, very fast. And at this point, we don't, I mean, of course, there are small players in the industry because there are no entry barriers, but still in the execution side, I think we are by far the most aggressive and fast going one. If you look at the, the investment cycle, the, your first investors, uh, I think gave around the 2 million Turkish Jura, right? Yeah. Around that and it of. includes uh, Arda Turan, who is a like, famous sport player in Atletico Madrid, right? Yes. And also uh, Sina, Afra, and uh, yes. Uh, yes. Nezat. I mean, they, uh, these are all very serious, I mean, pioneers in internet business. So for the second round, what was the investor profile you were looking for? Because you already had the know-how, actually, mm -hmm. and the network. Uh, actually, we were approached by 
uh, more than 10 international venture cap capital companies uh, during the time we were looking for some funds. And uh, of course, valuation was one of the factors mm -hmm. that we considered, but uh, we always looked for the uh, added value that the uh, investing company would give to us. Mm -hmm. So Runet has investment, like similar investments in India and in somewhat, yeah, in Vietnam, some other emerging markets. And uh, we, I mean, for us, the synergy and the uh, added value is more important than the just the cash that is injected in the company. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think Runet was the best choice for us. And, we went with that. And you plan to expand in their uh, markets that they are strong at all? For example, like a uh, emerging in Middle East or maybe in East well, Europe we're or Russia? Planning to go international in the next couple of weeks actually, but in terms of expansion, uh, with operational, the, expansion. Yeah, operational expansion, it's going to take a little more time, but still, this is our focus for now. We are going to first start sales online. Uh, for international mm -hmm. and then yeah, operational. And uh, how about competition? Because uh, Stella Dot in US raised uh, uh, 27 million US dollars. Then after that, Spring Star in Germany started with really and you. And then uh, just uh, two weeks ago, uh, they had this copycat of the same company in, in Russia, in India, and in Brazil. And uh, okay, how about in Turkey? And uh, do you have any plans for competition? Mm -hmm. Well, this is a common trend actually. First, business models are developed in the US and if they are successful then they are replicated. So in that sense we can call Vidya.com the copycat as well? It's no. A, no, it's, <laughs> no. You can. Actually, it's, it's, it's a regular vertical internet uh, company. But the thing is with Stellan Dot, it's a business to business business model. Mm -hmm. And we, we have already seen the model but I don't think it's quite applicable to Turkish market mm -hmm. as well as the other subscription models which were already also successful in the US but mm -hmm. still they have been replicated and we didn't want to replicate them as well in mm -hmm. Turkey. But how about the, the current uh, jewelry companies who can easily go into mm -hmm. the There are online for them. And right. the thing is Lidiana attracts such a traffic and has created such a strong brand image online that these vendors, these suppliers prefer to mm -hmm. share their products with us in in, instead of trying to develop an e-commerce business there because they don't have the experience and online sales is a difficult business. A difficult business, right. So we are also educating them on one side and some of them already have their websites mm -hmm. and they are trying to do some sales but still they see us as their major uh, sales point. And you can see the data in their web pages as well as the same uh, So, as a summary, your strategy is uh, first uh, growing uh, in Turkish market, yeah. then later. Dominating the Turkish market. Yeah, this is our hub, so yeah. okay. we want to be the strongest and preserve our stance here. But mm -hmm. then uh, our targets and our uh, ambitions are really high. That's why we want to go international as soon as possible. Okay.